Alrighty, welcome back. We're back at it. I'm your man, Bad Chad. Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we're on air. I have got the tailgate welded up, but today we have to make it work. Uh, basically, I can just pull it off and put it back on. I'm not going to do that right at the present moment, because what I have done is... Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. Um, I put a washer underneath this side. I put a washer underneath this side to give me this gap underneath here. I've taken the tailgate itself and made sure that I have a gap in here, if Jolene wants to show you. She's the, ma the uh, magnificent photographer. We've got gap going on in here. And the reason I'm gapping everything, so when we close the tailgate, we're not scraping paint. I've got it gapped over there. I've got it all welded up and ground off on the, on the pipe on the top, ground and welded on the bottom. I've got the, the piece underneath the tailgate all welded and ground. But now we have to make it go up and down and work on its own. There's many different ways I probably could do it. Uh, I could put a hinge in here and flop it down. I could put a hinge on the outside and flop it down. But basically what I think I'm going to do, or what I plan on doing, I'm, I'm going to drill a hole. This is what we, I had in mind at first. I'm going to drill a hole through here. And I'm going to, I was going to drill a hole in the square, in the angle iron here that I've got welded over top of the pipe. I was going to drill a hole in that and run a rod all the way through to the inside and then uh, put a nut on the other side, maybe acorn nut on each end, and then it could swing up and down on that. Uh, but what I figured, what I thought was, if I try to put a rod through there, it would be some hard at the other end to try to get that rod through that little tiny hole on the other side. Uh, Jolene made the suggestion, make the hole a little bigger so you can ship. Well, if I make the hole bigger, then I lose my adjustment, or I lose I lose panel gap is what I lose. So basically, I, I want that to fit exactly where it's at right at the present moment. I do not have the little pieces that you can bolt on the side of here and go into the pipe. Do not have them. Do not have them. We are making this truck from nothing, uh, from a car. So basically, I, I want to make everything. Let's make it go up and down. My thought is what I'm going to do is I have a nice nut and a nice round head bolt I don't think that we're going to be setting on the tailgate or using it at any like big amount so what I've got I got these nice little uh, anodoxed uh, flathead nut bolt I'm gonna drill a hole in there and I'm gonna weld that nut inside that angle iron and then I'm going to screw this in there like that on each end so it goes up and down but first what I want to do is and if I'm explaining it a little messed up is because I'm not quite sure of exactly what I'm doing but I'm gonna go for it anyways I have Jolene went downtown just a minute ago and got me some chain I have some chain here I'm gonna make it go up and down and hold all that sort of stuff so I gotta make that bracket but you can see as the angle iron was inch angle iron and it's out too far. So I'm going to go on the front here and make a line where I want to cut it off. I want Actually, my chain is going to be up here. So I'm going to use this piece around that edge. Around that edge like that. And then... So I'm going to leave that tab there. I'm going to weld a little bracket to our stake pocket that comes through that tab that holds the chain and that will hold the chain when the tailgate comes down. So let's do the exact same thing on the other side. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cut this off because we don't need all that and I'm going to leave that tab. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Don't know how big my tab is, just down to the round of my... Draw a little line here. And that's just a little bit past where it shuts, basically. I want to go on this side and take a look. On this side, take a look. And I, I can always knock it down a little bit more. Yes, I can. I am going to cut that line. I'm going to cut that one down a little bit further. Oh, 
Pull it in a little bit. Come on, Chatty. Pull it in a little bit. Suck it in. Kind of a not so good line there, but that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to cut that and make that work. Get that going. Knock that edge off. Cut that up. Then I can see in there a little bit better to, uh, to apply my hole and my bolt. Not. You see where the washers are? I'm going to cut this off with a zip cut. I can get a nice straight line with a zip cut. Generally, probably not something that I should be rushing quite Russian. I mean, being I should be Canadian on this and take my time. But uh, we want to get something done within the time that we usually film. So I'm going to try to get this hooked up. Somewhere as close. mess with that we'll, we'll round the ends off here in a minute basically I want to put that back on the washers gap it back up again good thing I didn't let that go good thing I didn't let that go alrighty now what I want to do is I want to get that make sure that it's underneath there nice what I'm going to do is is I'm going to make some marks on now we're up there if this is what i'm looking for it's up there pretty good gives me a pretty good gap now we've got enough to hold the tailgate on there just want to see if the gap's okay the top here could come this way a little bit oh that's better Alrighty. Um, all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to eye this up. I'm going to say that's about center of my round stock going through. So I want to drill a hole there somewhere. Going to the other side. This is not probably how everybody would do it, but this is how I'm doing it. And the reason being is, it's the easiest way that I have known or thought of, and I'm gonna go for it. Okay, take this back off. I didn't leave myself very much. But then again, I only need something like that to come through. Good. Awesome. All right. Let's drill a hole in that. I'm going to need my drill bit, my drill. 
I'm going to use the step drill bits. They work fantastic. I was not using them, using them for a long time, but now, excuse me, I have some. <coughs> I'm going to use them. Why wouldn't I? Now, another thing with this too, with the nut welded inside of the angle iron that I've got going upside the gate, I'm thinking that it'll hold my adjustment right on the money. If I put the rod through, I'm thinking after a little bit, I probably would have an issue. I'm not going to go buy something when I have some nuts and washers, so this is what I'm doing. I'm going to use this one. size ah, that's one thing I don't like right there I got to put the drill on an angle and that's okay but nope don't want that Come from the other side, so I don't have to hit nothing. Hoping that'll fit through. God love it. God love it. No, nope, not gonna do it. Coming to the other side. If I was thinking a little bit more, I probably would have made that lip a little bit bigger, but I'm thinking we're going to be fine. Thinking we're going to be fine. And what I like about these is I have a plastic washer around that. I'll pull a couple of washers off. I'll leave the plastic washer on the outside, on the going on the paint or whatever, and then I'm going to take a plastic washer off one of them and put it in between the gate and the paint. So I'm going to use the washers off this thing. I'm going to knock off. I want the flapper wheel to knock off the sharp edges. I can't get away from the three grinders. It's just kind of hard. Every I need all three grinders most of the time. off some sharp stuff. Alrighty. Tailgate's got to go back on. Reason the tailgate's got to go back on because I got to know where my hole is. Uh, I had a washer there that fell off. See any words there, sweetheart? Jolene looks amazing today. As always, took off on us, didn't it? Someone watching knows where it's at. I know it. I really need that washer before I go any further. I need that washer. You think if I holler its name, it'll come back? Come on, there it is. Alrighty, we're cooking with gas now. Got that all welded up along there, got that ground off. Just held my grinder flat when I did that. I didn't angle it off or anything. Ground it off flat this way, ground it off flat this way, ground it off flat this way, ground it off flat that way. So that means all the welds stuck in the corner because I allowed for that. Let's do this. Thank you. 
So you're not allowed to say, I haven't got a tailgate for my truck anymore. What you do is you just make it. Basically, I haven't got a tailgate for my truck. Well, make it. That's basically what I'm thinking. Make it. Pretty simple. Alrighty, I got a marker in my pocket. Alrighty. Trying to get the truest read I can. And that's going to be the hardest part. it right over here that's gonna be a hard one but I set myself up for it and I'm gonna do it let's take a look at the other side I'm gonna do the exact same thing exact same thing you're bad Chad you're bad all right let's take the edges up angle iron is eight that I scrub off my line <laughs> don't do that let's get our drill plugged in and make a hole hopefully this takes away all adjustment takes away everything just kind of hold it up and I'm going to have to have that hole bigger to get that nut down inside. But I'm going to drill the other hole on the other side. And I'm hoping that it stayed where it's supposed to. Um, I did not... Them step drill bits usually don't run on you, so... They just walk. not good. Alrighty. I did not go down through all the way on the other end, so I'm just going to set this up and see if I can get down in there. Alrighty. The nut. Could I have that hole bigger than the nut? I'm going to go get this see if I can't get that in there see what happens never used this one before it's brand new hasn't even got a spanking but what I need is is I need that nut to go down in there and have enough room all the way around so I can weld that in there nice this is eighth plate on the side of that lots of meat there I just have to make sure I get hole just right. Um, now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it where I need it. I just want to go down to the third one. There's the second one. Let's see what that does. Just so I'm going to do them both the same. Now I'm going to put that on. We have someone who back? That goes in there. And I'm just kind of wondering, do I want a little more room? I'm gonna go one more. Ah, I don't think so, it fits too perfect. 
That way there I can just get the weld around the... Yep, so I'm gonna do, it's gonna go there. That centers it up too nice. If I start making it too big, well then I won't, then I might not get it centered. That's what I'm thinking. Right now, I still think I got it centered. If I get the hole too big, I won't have a center. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna get that down in there a ways so I can put some weld on top of that, make it work. So let's get a longer bolt so I can stick it down in there further. We'll keep that aside for a minute. Let's take it over where the welder is. I'm hoping for um, zero adjustment. That's what I'm hoping for. And I still have a few things that I want to do to the gate. Hopefully I'll get to show you. Hopefully. Put my gloves on. Probably get burnt. Not making a tailgate for a tailgate party. Making a tailgate so it goes up and down. So like, make sure that we get that straight. I'm going to allow that nut to get down in there a little bit because I'm going to have to flush it off. Let's clean this out so we can get a good weld going. I'm going to have to flush it off to get the tailgate to fit, basically. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get that nut down in there far enough without welding the... So I'm going to get it down in there ways so I can get and grind it off and still have penetration on everything. Look crooked to you. It's crooked to me. Don't want to break it off already, but... Get that welded on there already. That's the issue. But I gotta have. See if we can get that out now. Hopefully. Got that welded on there already. That's the hard part I was thinking that was going to matter was this issue here. Oh, well. In a jam already, folks. In a jam already. Is it cut? Just gonna try to knock it off. I just got it tacked on there very lightly in a spot. And I wanna knock it off so I can get that bolt out. Cross your fingers and your legs and your toes. Thank you. Now, that's going to be a hard one. I'm going to knock that off a little bit more. Try it. Hmm. It's 
get a new bolt to try it. Hopefully that stays, or hopefully I can get a, a bolt back in it. If I can't, it's not going to be good. Haven't got a tap for it either. I'm going to tap. Not so good so far. Ah. All right. Then knock it off, and then I'm going to get the dry grinder. What's that, sweetheart? Um, good call. I'm gonna do this first. Joey, just give me a great idea, and if I have to do it, I will. Man, I'll tell you, if you don't know it or not, that Jolene's a thinker. She just gave me a great idea. I was going to try that. With there she be. Some tight fit. See what uh, if I have any burrs on it. bound up this is what I'm going to do let's go get another nut another bolt all right we're gonna make a little uh, tap to make it work the best it can. And uh, I'm gonna cut some lines in this bolt and then we'll take it down through and clean it. Just angled it so when we go down through, we'll be cleaning the threads. or wrecking the threads one or the other. Just trying to clean them out or the where I put the cut in the bolt we'll take out any of the junk that's in the nut that was Jolene's quick thinking we've done it here before 
but she's the one who thought of it. So basically I just cut a couple lines on an angle on the end of that bolt to run down through to clean out any So what I've done is just put a couple lines in that, angled it, and then any of the junk that's inside there, to, from keeping that not clean, uh, would go in that little groove and take it out, just like a tap. So now we've got that one in there. Scary stuff, scary stuff. Just, I don't know scary stuff or not, but just stuff that it takes a little per, bit of precision, I guess. Sometimes in a tight little spot like that, yeah, that, that's hard to get. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna grab a new bolt to hold this. And we're gonna weld this one in. This time I think I'm gonna tack it and then I think I'm gonna pull the bolt out and then weld it. I think it might be easier for myself. Put it down in there a little ways. Don't really want to get that. Much easier that way. Just don't know if I get anything down inside the hole. Much easier that way. I should have done that way on the other side. Let's take and clean this off. Probably get a little bit, a little bit of in the way, maybe. Let's try our one that we cut. Let's put that one in. Nope. Said it was easier, but might have messed me up. Or something down inside there, that's all. Hitting my 
mic every time. And maybe a little bit of penetrating fluid and grab some. Got some right here. Generally don't like spraying this on something that I'm gonna paint or do, but it'll help me get that down in there. Oh yeah, did that ever help? Beautiful. Now we're down in there. I got the knot stuck down in there a ways. Trying to get as much weld on as possible. We are welded on to eighth plate. So I'm thinking that we're good. I want to turn this up. I might have a time getting uh, want some just a little bit on that. This one down through again. You turn that off, you like spear? Thank you. Sure does help taking that and doing what I've done, what Jolene suggested. That sure does help. Alrighty. Oh, good. Let's mount. I'm going to. What am I going to do here? I want to knock off the edge off that. I'm going to round that edge. I'm going to knock the edge off that first before we put that back on. It is because now I'm going to try to hook up the chain part. Um, and that's going to just take a second. I'm going to, I guess I'll leap bolt the tailgate on and do the chain work while it, while it's on. I'm hoping everything is going to work, work out just fine. If I take the edge off or I cut it off. No set plan, just trying to give it. Beautiful. You are going beautiful, she is. Beautiful. Let's bring this down this end. Just gonna round this one up a little bit. So I can make this look like. it to set on. I'm going to say that again. I'm not making it to set on. I'm making it to go up and down. Let's do this. Put this back on. Hopefully I can get my holes lined up. I'm going to set my washer, my, my washer in place. I'm going to 
rush too much here. I'm gonna set that there, it's not going anywhere, so I hope it's not. We're in there nice and tight and right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See if I can't get two of those in there. I need a flathead screwdriver. Nice one right there. And we got two of these nice, what do you call them, carriage bolt? That's got a, like a carriage bolt head on it. And um, I'm hoping that I can get one in. Well, I don't know why it seems like I'm up a little bit, but it does. It's crazy. That's probably not in there the way it should be, is it? It doesn't look like it, does it? Why is that all? Crookie. Come on now. I'm going to take out the washer. Hopefully the other side stays and behaves. Looks like it wants to go there with no gap. think. No. It's going to be more difficult than I think. Here we go. Here now we're talking. No gap whatsoever. That's not what I want. Not what I want. This side. Looks like it could come up. Perfect. That one went in perfect. Nice gap on that one. I'm hard down on that side. So, and what's let's pull this off. I can see how adjustment. I was wondering why the tailgate wouldn't open, and now I know. Uh, now, see, I have this I have this little piece here. See this this piece here is hitting that tailgate, so I'm going to have to cut that off to make it to make it work. So I'm just going to cut it off above, and what I'll have to do, what I'll have to do to make, well, I'll have to make that work. This has to come up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to take this hole, die grind this hole up a little bit so there's adjustment there on this side. And basically I have to cut off, as you can see when I try to bring that down, it's hitting right there. What's that? It's hitting right here. See this, see this piece right here? See how it's hitting against that? Mm -hmm. So it, it can't hit on that, so I have to cut that off. You know what I'm trying to tell you. You know what I mean? See how it hit in there like that? Come on the other side. This is all the stuff you figure out as, as you're making something. Like I, I would have thought it would have went bloop, fell right down, but no, it's not going to. That one's in there. This one, it went in absolutely perfect. This one here, it's got me down. 
half a washer. It would come down, but I have to cut this off. I'll loosen this up. And pull this over. Yes. I'm ready. This looks free. How far do I want to cut that off? <laughs> I don't want to cut too much of it off because I don't want it to look bad. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. What's at the top of the nut? This one here is gorgeous. Top of the nut. I think I got too much. I seem to have, I like the gap on that side. I do not like the gap on this side. Let's, let's take it off and dry grind the hole up a little bit further. I just wonder why I'm cutting. Ah, I know why. Um, I have to, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I was gonna cut more off this side than that side, but I have to make this come up before I cut that off. Uh, because I will make, I will have a boo-boo. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pull this out. That out. I'm going to pull this out. Hoping that my bolt is not all, no, it's good. Now, that hole has to come up some. Basically. Went in there nice. I have to make a noise. I have to get this right before I start cutting off any of that tailgate. I have to have the gap right. Uh, if, I do, if I cut it off before I do the gap right, I'll be cutting more off one side than the other. You've ever used If you've ever used one aggravating than anything. Oh! 
Get ugly here in a second. It's pain yet. That you can hold it, <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> Now I'm hoping that I have, and basically that's just like slotting a fender, or slotting a hole for a fender is basically the same thing. I have a carriage bolt head, so I'm hoping that it covers it. I'm pretty sure it will. If it does not, I'll have to go back in there with a welder, weld a little bit of up and cut another hole, or drill the hole again. But basically what I'm trying to do is get it done in front of your very eyes. I have, I know that one side was right. This side here I'm thinking was right. So I'm gonna cut the exact same mount off that side. I'm hoping that that works. I'm guessing again, but it's an educated guess. Something like this um, can take hours and hours and hours and hours if if uh, so if it has to be it can um, there's the hole I want look at that baby see the hole see how I can see it now um, it's a lot better I think I can get it um, to the adjustment or to I just want it in there a little bit can I see the hole now can you see it can you see it can you see it all right that's what I want Hoping that I got that. Trusting that the tailgate is. Oh, that feels much better. It feels much better. Got my washer underneath of it. Just want to make sure I got to I'll leave that gap be. I keep hitting that mic, but I can't help it. I might have to take that wood side washer off. Give me a little bit more. Might have to take that off. That hole there, that's funny. See if we get a hole there now. See that'll swing, hopefully. Hopefully that'll swing. This side went imperfect. Don't have to tighten that up anymore because I well, can bring it over a little bit. It's good too to set your adjustment with that. Let's bring it, take the washers out. Nope, not far enough yet. This side is cleared, this side is not. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, 
is I'm going to, um, this one's not hitting yet, on that side. I'm just going to cut that one off so till it comes down straight, so the chain will hold it, and so won't that. So let's cut that a little bit. I can't cut it on there, can I? Well, I can, but I'm going to take it off. But we got good gap on the bottom now. Everything's going good. Everything looks good. Can put my washer back underneath there. I could have one time. Yep. Washer back that side. I could put it up a little bit higher. One. It does then. Further, that's all. What's that side do? That side's good. Just got to come up on this side. How much further? Just keep looking at that. Everything seems to be all right. It's not uh, screwing the threads up or anything, so we're good. Take this one out. further. They both look this. Little shot of penetrating fluid. So it goes in a little better. This one's dry. Not dry now, is it? Not dry now. What I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to take the plastic washer off because I'm thinking that it's not letting me go in far enough. Staying on there. I can see. I can see it clearly now. Awesome. Take it up where it wants to be. The highest. Right. Sorry about the mic people, but I can't help. Leave that one there. Nice gap on the bottom, actually. I'm gonna to have to put a little bit of weld on the bottom of that hole so that stays up like that. That's what I'm gonna to have to do. Or that's what I am going to do. A little bit of weld on the bottom, just tack it with the welder. Put this one on this side. Going down. Beautiful. Beautiful. A happy
happy. I'm happy. All right, we got the tailgate coming down and up. Yep, 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 yep. No scrape, no nothing. All good. Even got the washer underneath there, which is nice. Awesome. I'm gonna to have to put a little dab, a weld on the bottom of this hole on this side to keep to keep that up in place. You can see I've got a little bit of a little bit of gap going on right here. I might might have to put a washer in there or like I said I got these plastic washers. These plastic washers could go in there and take up for that gap and maybe make it run a little bit better. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's make a chain. We got time for a chain? What time is it? It's an hour? All right, I'm going to show what I'm going to do for the chain. I have the pieces left over. I got these pieces left over here that I cut. That's eighth plate. Uh, it's off that angle iron. So what's going to happen is it's going to make something come through. So something's going to go on. Piece is going to, this is going to weld on here like this, just like that. Not that long, obviously, but long enough. I'm going to make a slit in this. I'm going to slide that piece through there, and I'm going to what I'll do is I'll make a slit in this. I'll slide this in. I'll tack it on the stake pocket. I'll cut it off, cut it off of here long enough that I can put a hole in it. This part of the chain will go on the inside part. So when this piece goes through this into there, I'll hook the chain on. Well, I'll probably end up um, cutting a link or putting a hole in there and then welding it back together, no doubt in my mind. Welding that on there, uh, putting a slit in this, this will come out through here and then the chain will be hooked to the stake pocket. And then when you undo the chain, this will come down and then when you undo the chain, then you can hook it back, hook this chain back up to where's dangling, come back there and hook on that spot there where this goes through. Hope I explained that good enough, didn't I? Do you understand that, sweetheart? One more time. I've got it like this. I'm going to cut. I slid in it like this. I'm going to shove this through. I'm going to connect the chain on this piece on the back side. The chain's going to hang down and come back up. And it's going to connect on the outside where this comes through with a hole. So when the tailgate ones come down, you're going to undo the chain. You're going to pull it down. That piece is going to stay there with the chain hooked on it. Bring it down. And then that piece is going to hook on to that hole there to hold the tailgate from coming down. Alrighty. Thanks everybody for coming back. I appreciate it. I had a little bit of rigging and rolling to going on there to get that. I mean, let's face it, um, to make that line up perfectly and get that rocking and rolling uh, within the hour was a feet and a half. I've got it done. I've got to put a little bit of weld on that to keep that where I've, where I've shimmied that up a little bit. I want to put a little weld on the bottom of that hole so that bolt stays up there nice and gives me the gap. Uh, I have to do the chain thing. But basically that's how I'm rolling with it. I'm going to put a plastic washer on the inside so it can roll on top of that. I want to thank everybody for coming back and watching. I can only do what I can get, get done in an hour. Um, if you think you can do that quicker, hats off to you. I'd hire you. Come on back, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, and see you tomorrow.